tonight. It's the Dancing with the Stars 2023 Grand Finale. The most fire, fierce way to open up our Grand Finale. These six couples have battled it out. I just loved it. To secure their place. Are you ready? I have nothing but amazing things to say about this. On Dancing's Night at Nights. Brilliant. Going head to head in a spectacular ballroom showdown. Absolutely loved that. This will be the most amazing night of ballroom dancing you will ever see. Nailed it. Who will win and become the Dancing with the Stars champion for 2023? Hello and welcome to Dancing with the Stars 2023 Grand Finale! Wow, what a build-up! We, uh, we honestly have a huge night of entertainment for you at home. If you remember, we started out with 14 couples. We are now down to six in a huge dance-off uh, for... The Mirrorball! <laughs> Hey, listen, I just want to acknowledge, of course, uh, the other eight couples who have given their all in this competition. Uh, they're currently up in the Frequent Dancers Club Lounge. Um, they, yeah, there they are. They just didn't have enough dancers' points to make tonight's finale, but they're in to support their buddies, which I think is a really, really admirable thing to do. Well done. That's good. So, our diamond of the dance floor, our... Bell of the ball. When you want to have fun, give Sonia a call. Sonia Kruger! There are some very tense finalists back there tonight, yeah. Daryl, because tonight we crown the winner of Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> And unlike previous grand finales, it's not just the audience vote that will decide the winner. Tonight, the judges' scores also count. And to make it even more interesting, everyone is going to be dancing a freestyle. Up in the box up there, we have James Magnuson, a three-time world champion. Uh, right. uh, freestyle free champion. Freestyle champion. And they're doing it down here and you're up there. It seems quite weird to me that he, he's... <sighs> anyway... We do have some other world champions with us. World champion judges! Let's bring them on! Todd McKenney! Shauna Burgess! Mark Wilson! And Craig Rebel Horwood! Mind you, it's, it's taken them it's taken them six <laughs> weeks to learn that routine. <laughs> six weeks to learn that routine, but they all look rather Don't wonderful. They? Especially, may I say, Shana, that is you are sparkling, gorgeous, literally sparkling. You look gorgeous, and I just want to ask you, with the scoring in the grand final, are you going to be taking into account the improvement from? 
show one of some of our dancers, especially those who have never really had any experience before, through to this final? You take them into account? Absolutely, you take all of it into account because it's the whole journey, right? We want to see people grow and progress through dance and, and how far they've really come. And I will say that I feel like all of our contestants tonight have grown so much and I'm so excited to watch them. They have, that's true. And Craig, for the people at home and Daryl, can you please explain what is meant by freestyle? Well, what it says on the tin, darling, it's free and you'll choose to do any style you want. Everything is up for grabs. It's about being creative. It's about working to the strength of your celebrity and there are no rules. Ooh, no rules. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh, OK. Now, normally, when we bring our grand finalists out, it's always huge applause and everything else and whatever. But we're going to do a different treatment tonight. Fun. So we will hold the applause as we bring out our six grand final dancing stars. Dim the lights. <laughs> Dance, last chance for love. I need you by me, beside me. I just want to pick up on how great these couples are because when they're thrown together, they never really know whether there's chemistry or how they're going to bond together. Apart from the dancing, put the dancing aside, it's just personalities. Will they get on and whatever? Some couples work really well together. For instance, you and I, we've worked a long time Sorry. together. We, <laughs> oh. but we like, we yeah, like no. dancing together. Yeah, of course, yeah, we do. We so much. A lot of chemistry. Lots. So much at times. I have to go up there just to, woo, you know. Speaking of bonding and chemistry... Yeah, Emily and Liu. Uh, the, um, they got four tens uh, for their contemporary Perfect in episode score. three. Perfect yes. Uh, and then and they were crying at the end of it. They won the judges over, of course, um, uh, got uh, four tens uh, because they were dancing from the heart. And, and that was, you know, very important. I wonder, though, uh, whether you will bring that emotional attachment to tonight's very important performance.
for this dance. I want to start big. Be go want... big or go home. It's the finale. Why not? That's it. We have to go big. Big. Boom. Wow. We're here. We're here. So we're going to start with two different lifts. Oh, good. OK. And then we have to do it again. The lifts twice. So we have four lifts in a row. <laughs> OK. <laughs> La 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 turn. La 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 Do. Do. Having fun is really important and that's what we're focusing on. Fire to the left if you're having a good time. Shake it to the back. To win that mirror ball, everything has to be really good. Yeah, I know. And especially our feet. Well, 100%. I mean, it's a dancing show. Um, wow. I've done three seasons now and I've never got that mirror ball. But with Emily, I feel like we might have a chance. Yeah, that looks really strong. Oh, man, I want it. Like, I would be lying to say I don't. I also don't want to think about that. I just want to think about doing the best job that I can in this finale routine. Please welcome to the floor, Emily Weir and Liu Masuda, Dancing Freestyle. Emily, take that! Wow, I, I talked about, I talked about your chemistry. I, I don't, don't think you have to talk right now because that was Sorry. that was an amazing perky punchy sort of routine. It was really something, oh. and you put everything into it. Um, yeah. So let's let's go to our judges for a comment, Shana. Emily and Liu, that was the most fire fierce way to open up our grand finale. First of all, you always deliver a performance. You absolutely never fail to give us every single bit you've got left in the tank on the dance floor. And you did not disappoint tonight. You put everything in there that you could think of. It was high energy, it was upbeat, it was fierce, it was sexy. You had some great armography going on in there. I feel like you didn't miss a beat. I felt like you might have been a tiny little bit nervous at the beginning. I could oh, almost, absolutely. I could literally oh, see your legs shaking. <laughs> You know what? You yes. got it together. You came down those stairs onto this floor and you nailed it, girl. I'm really impressed with you. Well done. Oh. Yeah, because you started it with those lifts, which is a courageous thing to do, um, and then you put more lifts at the end yeah. after such a frantic routine. Like, that's a really big call. And you know that the other competitors in this final are fierce as well. Yes. You didn't leave anything else in the tank. The music was fantastic. I absolutely loved that. <laughs> Gee, this is good so far. 
This is good, Mark. It just was showgirl stuff. You were out there hitting every line, dancing great rhythm, interacting with us, interacting with Liu, and more punch right through the whole routine. It was, I mean, I'm looking to say, what can I fault that as a routine? Maybe sometimes the bass was a bit big in some places, because that helps your action, but you were just great. Like, you just hit the show from the start. Look out, dancers. It's a bit scary for the rest of them. Oh, good. I mean, no, good. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean that. Okay. I don't mean that. To, oh, to another member of the Cream Jacket Brigade, uh, Craig. Indeed. <laughs> um, I love salsa. That's one of my personal favourites anyway. And it's so great seeing you dancing, the Latin stuff. I had no idea you were going to put a little bit of Charleston into that, which wouldn't normally suit, but I thought it suited brilliantly. You were shimmying for Jesus, darling. <laughs> I'll tell you. Those lifts were absolutely fantastic. It was confident, a sound performance, and I love how clean it was. Brilliant. Oh. <laughs> clean! <laughs> he called it clean! Go and relax now. You've done all the work. Your first song is an advantage now because you can sit and relax as we see some of this amazing routine. They threw themselves into it from start to finish. That was so hot. But those lifts, lift after lift, you are so brave. You are so <laughs> brave to do that, because that's scary. It's really scary. Yeah, and the wedgie is the scariest thing. The front wedgie. <laughs> I've got a front and a back wedgie tonight, Sonia. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yes, I do. And Liu, I have never seen you look happier in a performance. Oh, no, I've, I've, she's, she's just been best. a dream to work with. You know, I'm so proud of Em. <laughs> she's literally, like, she's like my sister now. Yeah. You know, friends for life. Yeah. This, this journey for me has been an incredibly healing journey and I couldn't have done it without him. And it's been really a privilege for my life. <laughs> we love you guys. We're so glad you're here in the grand finale. You did a brilliant job. Let's get the judges' scores. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have their scores. Craig Revel Horwood. Nine. <laughs> Shana Burgess. It's a ten. Todd McKinney. Ten. Mark Wilson. Ten. Oh, <laughs> I think they're happy. They look pretty happy. Did you expect that? No! <laughs> absolutely not! No, because the judges' scores count tonight, and so, you know, like, you've set the bar really high for everyone. Yeah, thank you, judges. Thank you so much. Really, our biggest thing is to impress you guys and take on your criticism, so thank you. It's been great. Well done. Still so much to come, Daryl. Very strong routine uh, there, but more finalists uh, to come, of course, including Mary Custis, Christy Willen-Brown, uh, and next up, Paulini and her partner, Igor Iflian. Welcome back to Dancing with the Stars 2023 grand finale. It's a very, very big night. You know, we've learnt that Paulini has no background in dance whatsoever. So to find yourself at the pointy end of this competition uh, is a wonderful achievement. Win, lose or draw, she's added a new string to her bow, dancing. What are you doing there? I'm doing pinky. Oh, it's says like pinky. a celebration yeah. kind of like, yeah. Boom, boom. We made it to the end, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm just excited that we're still here. Well, I mean, look how far you've come. We started out with the samba. We had no idea how you were going to even complete it. That's exactly And now right. you're in the final. Even if we don't win, I'm yeah. a dancer now. You are. Well, you're whipping the skirt oh, around your hip. It's a workout, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this last dance is difficult because there are three different styles in the one dance. The cha-cha, the salsa and freestyle. So I've got to execute the different styles really well for it to Two work. And keep roll three. But I haven't been sleeping well because while I'm sleeping, I'm constantly dreaming about the routines and Igor's face, like right in the middle of my dream, just going, do it again, do it again, do it again. One, two, hit, hit, and slow. 
I really do feel like my body is falling apart. Three and close the gap. I'm bleeding. My, my toes are bleeding because I've hit them against the shoe. But I want to win this for my charity and for a good cause. Those cuts and bruises will heal, but yes. the emotional pain of not winning will last forever. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Practice makes perfect. So that's what we're going to do. Watch out. Dancing freestyle. Please welcome Paulini and her partner, Igor Iflian. I may say that you just really got your groove on there, oh, girl. Yes. We had to. Yeah. We're in the finals. I can't believe we're here. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, you did so well. It was just really yeah. wonderful to be. Todd. Yeah, we've been saying to you throughout the series that we want to see you animated. And I said to you, you know, play with the audience. And you did. And then you, you chose exactly the right time to get the crowd going. It makes a really big difference to the way you dance, the way we feel about watching the dance. And so that's really great. And you said at the beginning of the series that you used to watch this with your mum, I think, and it's been I a did. dream to be on. Well, you can hold your head up high because you've done yourself really proud. Oh, thank you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Ah. Hey, this is a tough one because there, many champions become champions in a different way. Some are slick, quick, they make really good lines, and others are more rhythmical and they bring a beauty to the stage. And what you've just done is make it tough for us to judge because you've just got such natural body rhythm and you dance well together. But the reality is that it, it is a different style to what we've just seen. So what we do with that through to the end, I'm not quite sure. But it was beautiful. It was really lovely to watch. Thanks. Break. Uh, the dismounts and spins were a little ropey, I thought, and you did miss each other's hands at the end there, so you didn't yeah. quite get the wet. But, you know, you can move those hips, darling. You can isolate. Your body rolls were all there. It was cheeky. And I love the whole mix of steps. The fact that you've never danced before, I mean, bringing that to the table is incredible. Yeah. It really is. I did it because I'm definitely going to be using these skills for the next audition that I'm auditioning for, so thank Good you. For you. This Good is great. for you. Good for you. You guys, I think it was a phenomenal performance for you. Paulini, you are, I think, unmatched in this competition when it comes to presence. You were so in it in that, and it was really wonderful to watch. I think you've grown so much in this competition. For me, I would love to see, when it comes to a freestyle, a little more risk-taking. And I feel that, it, that that is something that we have said to you a couple times this season. And so I feel like you pushed the envelope a little bit, but I wish I saw just a little bit more. But I cannot fault you for giving a stellar performance tonight. 
Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, you please. And you let go. You've got so much musicality in you. It's just wonderful to watch. Thank you. So Thanks I'll so take much. that, and you yes. can go and have a rest thank if you can make it up the stairs to the dancers' lounge. There she is with Igor in their freestyle routine, looking good. Igor said, let me remind you, the cuts and bruises will heal, but the emotional pain of not winning will last Joe? forever. And I thought Todd was a drama queen. <laughs> Igor, congratulations, you never have the mantle. Where was that coming from? That was coming from a good place. Just a bit of motivational talk. Wow, really? Okay, thank you. <laughs> TED talk. I'll take that on, I'll take that on. Three different dance styles in the, in the one routine. Was that yeah. designed to impress the judges? Absolutely. I think we kind of thought to ourselves, okay, let's just, like, let's do whatever we can and impress the judges, impress the audience, and I think that's kind of what we've done. So, they I'm happy with that. They sound impressed. Let's get the judges' scores. The judges' scores are in. Craig Revel Horwood. Seven. Shana Burgess. Seven. Todd McKenney. Eight. Mark Wilson. Eight. So that is a total of 30. Don't forget, though, the audience vote needs to be combined with our judges' yeah. score. That could flip everything on its head, Daryl. Yes, it will. Uh, still to come, Virginia Gay and Phil Burton, plus a showstopper you won't believe. It's a performance from the cast of Tina, the Tina Turner musical. <laughs> but up next, Mary Custis and Arik Yagutkin. To our big, big grand final. Hey, I, I got a bit of goss. Just come in. Can you come in a bit close? Go. Last performance, Mary Custis was somewhat put out when replaced by Effie Stephanidis. But she's... Really? But she's thanking... She's thanking her now because Effie catapulted Mary into tonight's grand final, <laughs> where she tells the story of her beautiful daughter, Jamie. We're in the finale. Oh my God, can you believe it? This is the last dance. We're doing a freestyle. There are no rules. You can do whatever you want to do. We just want to get into the emotion, I think, with this dance. So we're going to be doing a mix of ballroom and contemporary. The rawness yeah. is what we want to capture here. Yeah. So your story with Jamie, I want to put that into a dance. My quest to become a mum, it took almost a decade. It took everything I had and more. But. I got the ultimate prize, which is my beautiful daughter, Jamie. Want to ditch the heels? I'll be flat-footed, right? You're going to like this. Come forward. Boom. And boom. Great, great. Had I given Mary this routine in week one, there's definitely no chance she would have got it because it's just something that we've built up to. Right leg, boom. There's a lot of yielding weight and throwing myself up. There's lifts, there's dips. It's action-packed. Run. Run. You see the broken parts of me, you see the most optimistic parts of me. Arik captures that in his choreography. And slide through. I'm going to try my best not to cry because the song plus the choreography plus knowing that my daughter and my husband will be in the audience watching this is um, it's huge for me. Please welcome to the floor, Mary Custis and Arik Yagudkin, dancing freestyle. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. And you can't find a fighter, but I see it in you, so we gonna walk it out.
Beautiful, just beautiful, Mary. It was so moving. Uh, the, the judges, the audience were just wow, wow. And, and of course, uh, Jamie at the end there. Um, very proud of her mum, she is. All right, let's go to Mark. Dance is a moving art. Uh, and you only know it's worked when the communication that you make reaches an audience. And there's a tell at the end of a dramatic piece where people are not quite sure whether they should clap or not, and then they do. And that's exactly what happened just then. So it was touching and brave. Of course, there could be more skills. But tonight's communication wasn't about the skills. Tonight it was, it was real, and I loved it. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Matt. I would have liked to have seen more stretch in the body through the first part of the contemporary stuff. I felt uh, there was lack of stability and balance on your landings. Uh, for me, it was a dance of two halves. I, I felt the first part was a little bit disconnected. I'm talking technically, not emotionally. And um, then at the second half, when you got into hold, it just took off and absolutely flew, darling. Thank you, Craig. I, uh, it's no, I think, secret at this point that I love a good story with dance. And it's one thing when you have a character that you can come out and be, but it's a whole other thing when you can bring your own truth to it. It becomes something real, not just for you, but for me watching you. And I was, oh my God. I'm a mum now, so I can't imagine what your journey was like. And so to watch that, I felt it. I felt all of it. I felt your pain. I felt your joy when it came to you. I felt the fight in you. And that's what you are, Mary. You're a fighter. You fought for your baby girl and you fought to be here tonight. And you absolutely deserve your place in this final. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shana. Thank you. Beautifully said. Donna. Todd. Yes, if we were just scoring on emotion, then it'd be 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. But, but that's also really hard to do. When you're a non-dancer and you're on television, you've got 90 seconds to tell a story and be emotional about it, it's really hard to do while you're trying to remember the steps and crawl off his back and, you know, all of that stuff. So you should be really proud of yourself and good on you, Arik. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'll take that and now you can relax. Up the staircase over there, staircase of success. We'll revisit that very moving, very moving routine choreographed by Arik and beautifully done. Oh my gosh. You, you're killing me, all right? Everybody up here was a mess. Oop, Sally, Sally was like, tissues were out and I think the thing with you Mary is you don't probably realise that you've been such an inspiration to a lot of women and a lot of women who've had a similar struggle and who at times have wanted to give up but they did you know because of you they didn't give up You're I was standing next to one of those women you, <laughs> just out of interest you are you were the reason I kept going because I read your story and now you have Jamie and your beautiful husband George and just seeing them together oh my gosh it was your family <laughs> just beautiful let's get the judges scores will the judges please reveal their scores Craig Revel Horwood. Seven. Shana Burgess. Nine. Todd McKenney. Seven. Mark Wilson. Eight. Woo. Oh my gosh, I'm on an emotional roller coaster tonight, even with this score. So that's a total of 31. Let's just look, we're halfway through, Mary. Let's just have a look and see where everybody is at. Up the top. Emily and Liu, you're in second place, Mary. 31 points, then Paulini and Igor. But remember, it is the audience vote that gets factored in tonight, and that could change everything, Daryl. It certainly can. We are three down, we have three to go. Christy Whelan Brown, Virginia Gay, and the only bloke left in the competition, Bill Burton. <laughs> Absolutely spot on. 
Uh, well, I've just talked, you talked about the importance of the music with the style of dancing because they gel, don't they? mesh. We, uh, particularly, uh, we mentioned uh, the Paso Doble that Phil did um, to Another One Bites the Dust, That's which right. I'm sure Queen never thought that would be used for Paso. <laughs> no. But it worked. And the Foxtrot, um, mm -hmm. just the way you look tonight, was an old Jerome Kern number it was. from 1936. And it was in it. Now, this will test you. It was in a musical with Fred Astaire in 1936. Um, just the way you look tonight. Swing time. Was it swing time? Yes, yes. Ah! I must be a dancer. Oh, gee, you've, you've got to know who to ask these questions <laughs> of. Uh, but tonight, uh, Phil is covering all bases, and I don't know where Ashley's choreography is going to go because he's doing the old Wilson Pickett number, and it's land of a thousand dancers. <laughs> We're in the grand We're final. In Can you believe it? Oh, it's so amazing. This is exciting. Nerve wracking, though. Very, yeah, very. It's had an like... amazing journey. We have. And I'm very proud of you. Well, I'm so grateful to you. You've made <laughs> this 49 year old look like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> he does. It's amazing. We have one dance left to do. Yeah. Which is a freestyle. Which freestyle. Means, which means no rules. We can dance okay. anything we want. I think the pressure is on both Ash and I to come up with something that's really unique and that makes people sit up and take notice and makes the judges lift up those number 10 boards. I know that you love the Motown vibe. Yeah, I'm a pretty, a pretty experienced when it comes to dancing Motown style, yeah. yes. So I want to just throw in some of those moves and just want it to be really, really fun. So you know the Tina Turner move where we just... <laughs> Yeah! This one as well, this one. I get to show moves that I have been doing in the past. Chicken, head, pony. Ah. Oh. Everything's just free and loose and fun. We can really throw off all those inhibitions and all that stiffness and just have great fun out there on the floor and it's just going to be amazing. Dancing freestyle. Please welcome Phil Burton and his partner Ashley Hunter. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh. All right. Uh. No, I'm rolling. Not only we're rolling. Mash the Do the alligator. Now, tell me, honestly, do you need oxygen? We can arrange something. No, I really you. might. You, you, you might have to do all the talking, Darren. Yeah, I might have Seriously. to talk. No, it's oxygen, please, oxygen to the studio for Phil. OK, <laughs> let's go to Craig while you get your breath. Uh, full of rhythm, full of musicality. I absolutely love all the Tina Turner homage, darling. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. It seems, Phil, that you can turn your hand to any genre of dance, and that's all. Thank you, Paul. 
I, th this was exactly what I want from a freestyle. It's stuff that we have not seen you do yet. Yet you were so in your element. Ash, beautifully, beautifully tailored for Phil. You have been. Genius, this one. She's a genius. Unbelievable asset to this show. I love watching everything that you do out here, Phil. You have grown as a dancer. You started off great. You've got even better. I have nothing but amazing things to say about this. I love watching you dance, and I'm just freaking sad that's the last one I get to watch. <laughs> Me too. Me too. God. Phil, I hate to tell you, but I think Ash is trying to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly. I don't know what you've done, mate. What but that, a way to go, really. That's, yeah, that's payback time for something. That, the aerobic fitness alone to uh, <laughs> to do that at the end of such a, a full-on season of dance has just been amazing. But I've loved watching you too. Like Shana said, for me, if I was going to choose a freestyle dance, that is the, the style of dance I would choose. The crowd loved it. We loved you guys. Ash, well done throughout thank the whole you, season. You. You've done great. Well done. Good. <laughs> Ah. Well, it was a human nature segue. Everything was there that you would <laughs> sing and we've watched, so it was great. Representing the men, great to have you in the final as Thank a leader. You. And that's what I have loved about you through this season growing, that you have led Ashley very well. And I think that's important to recognise. It was super duper. I just loved it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll take Thank that. You, I waited. You're still puffed. You just go and no, go and cool. relax. If you get, can you make it up the stairs? I'll do my best. Oh, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> go right to the Ashley. Everyone loves it up the top there. Wow, that was so energetic. And a great lift. I can't even speak still. It's just, that was so... Oh, come cool. on, you're a young man. You're 49. 49. Is that young these days? I'll take it if you think that's young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, take it from someone else who's 49. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why is that funny? <laughs> you guys, um, that was pretty amazing. Ash, those lifts, that first lift... We were all like, oh, yes! It was I when I first tried it. <laughs> no, <laughs> and you mean... She's just so good at the choreography. I just can't believe it. I mean, she's obviously a professional dancer and that's her job, but her just phenomenal. Yeah. Oh my God. It takes a lot of trust as well, and I trust uh, Phil, and he's been an amazing partner, so I wouldn't have put it in if I didn't feel that, so... The other thing you put in, which I think you totally should have, is the ponytail flip. I want you to do it right now. Ready, go. Yeah! Check that. <laughs> All right, on that note, we should probably get the scores. But before we do, you've had tens from every judge except Craig. Yeah. But the, Craig only gives his Uber drivers a one. Um, <laughs> should we get the scores? Oh, look, let's get the paint over with, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scores. Craig Revel Horwood. Nine. <laughs> Shana Burgess. It's ten. Todd McKenney. Ten. Mark Wilson. Ten. All right, that puts you in equal first place with Emily and Luke. Wow, no, we'll take that. That's fantastic. We we'll love that score. Thank you. If you're anything like me, you'll want to relive tonight's show because you were too wasted on hairspray fumes when it happened the first time around. To do this, simply head on over to 7 Plus, Daryl. <laughs> Don't go anywhere because there's just two more grand finalists to come. Christy Whelan Brown and Virginia Gay left to decide who takes the Mirabal Trophy. Welcome back to our big grand final night of Dancing Little Stars 2023. Christy Whelan Brown and Craig Monley survived a dance off in our last show with a well executed and cheeky Charleston. They won't be holding back tonight either. Let's see what they've got in their bag of tricks for tonight's performance. It's the morning after the semi finals. And Craig asked me to come to the studio and these stairs are here waiting. Grand final! <laughs> Did that hurt? No. <laughs> You're pumped. Let's do it. <laughs> so, the concept. You wondering about the stairs? The song is Stairway to Heaven. Led Zeppelin song? 
Unfortunately, the song wasn't called Escalator to Heaven because that would have made my life a lot easier. Christy, she's just completely thrown herself into everything that I've asked her to do. So I'm really proud of how far she's come and stoked to be having one more run at the grand final. It's the grand final, so we're just going to throw everything at it. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> my ultimate moment in the whole experience was having our kids there for our first dance, watching and cheering. Yep. <laughs> We're going to get married one day, and this is going to be the photo on their wedding cake. <laughs> Craig has always had a lot of faith that we'd make the grand final. I mean, he's done this before. He's won the grand final before, so uh, maybe he knew more than I did, but it feels really cool to be part of that group. I feel really lucky. Please welcome to the floor Christy Whelan-Brown and Craig Monley, Dancing Freestyle. There's a lady who's sure All the glitters is gold And she's buying the stairway to heaven When she gets there she knows If the stars are all closed With a word she can get what she came Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, lovely mood and great story and great vocal, by the way. That Judd Field was singing that vocal. And it gives me a chance while you just uh, sort of calm yourselves to give uh, a call out to uh, Dorian West, who's our brilliant musical director. You couldn't do this show without someone of his calibre because Dorian can, can uh, cut across all different styles of music, uh, different fields and whatever, uh, from classical to jazz to whatever it's called for. So well done, Dorian. And all the great musos that he gets together to record all of the numbers that you hear. Jana. Christy, I feel every dance that I see you do, I see a little bit more of you coming out in it. And that is just such a beautiful thing. I feel like this was very real for you. This story that you told, and my interpretation of it is that, Craig, you are that darkness, you are that trauma that chases you, that keeps bringing you down, that haunts you. And you finally found your moment where you broke free of it. And when you stood on top of those stairs, I felt it in you. Yeah. And that was beautiful. Thank you for bringing your heart, your soul, your energy, and your time to this show because it has been a gift watching you. Thank you. Yeah, I've been talking about your partnering, really, from, from week one when we spoke about that. And there was a moment in there where your partnering was sensational together. I love it 
in the cha-cha particularly when I was watching you doing the light stuff and quirky stuff, I sort of had everything crossed that that was the style of freestyle you were going to do, but there were no rules. For me, I would have liked to see the lighter bits really light to give the aggressive some a bit more light and shade in the routine. That's just nitpicking because it's up to you guys to do whatever you want. Thing I did love, Craig, you, the choice of using the stairs. So often when people use props, they sort of are under-realised. I think that's really great. And your choice of music was fantastic. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Um, it was um, ethereal. It, it, you know, I spoke before about the silence that happens when people are not quite sure what to do, and that existed longer. And that's when you know you've communicated what you were saying. That's what real art is. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. Three, I loved it. <laughs> right. I thought it could have gone a bit further technically with the arch in your back and your extension of your upper body and live through the transitions a bit more. But I've got to say, when the lead guitar solo kicked in, darling, that dance was ambitious and you actually nailed it. Yeah. You really did. Full of angst, full of emotion. Happy? Great. Thank I'll you. take that and, and up another stair. I'm sorry, you've worked the stairs. You've got to go up another bunch of stairs. Being show business is hard sometimes. There's that beautiful routine. Working the stairs. There's a feeling I get when I look to the west. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. OK, I have seen Akadaka on Dancing with the Stars. Remember when Chris Barth danced to ACDC? I've never seen or heard Led Zeppelin on Dancing with the Stars. I didn't peg you as being like a hard rock guy. Absolutely. You, gotta, yeah, you are. You've got to get the lead out. Really? Yeah. Who knew? Um, and congratulations, your kids are getting married. That's amazing. Yeah, we're so happy for them. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know yet, but... In 20 years' time, 30 years' time, we'll all be there for the wedding. To the bride and groom. Yeah. Should we get the judges' scores? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have their scores. Craig Revel Horwood. Eight. Shana Burgess. Ten. Todd McKenney. Eight. Mark Wilson. Ten. It's a total of 36, which is a really good score. How are you feeling about that? Uh, Craig put that number together, especially for me. It was a very personal story. So we just came out to tell that story tonight and I'm just so grateful to him and to everyone. Well done to both of you. Big night tonight, Daryl. Still a lot of excitement to come because the cast of Tina, the Tina Turner musical, is coming up soon. And uh, we, as we get closer to determining who will be the champion of this series, there's one dancing star to come. That is Virginia Gay with her partner, Ian White. Final night. Uh, look, earlier in the show we talked about the chemistry between our couples uh, and there's no better example of compatibility uh, than Virginia Gay and Ian Waite. Uh, they've, they, no, they've truly laughed their way through this whole series but delivered where it counts on the dance floor. And there's no more important time to do that than now. Hey. <laughs> We're in the finals. <laughs> I know it's a bit hard to believe. Can you actually believe I it? I actually cannot. This is a very unlikely outcome. I'm, I'm astounded by your progress because when you walked in the door, I thought there was no chance. <laughs> the roles that I'm famous for on stage are, are gender swapped roles. So it's really nice to think that, like, as we get into this final dance. Okay, well, let's throw everything at this. Come up here, okay, I want to try. Well, let me try. I absolutely reckon I can. I did it in Calamity Jane. One, two, three. Hup, hup. Oh. 
I mean, Courtney really did the, the heavy lifting in um, breaking gender barriers in this show, but I'm honoured to follow in her very dainty footsteps. Do you want to put a leg over my shoulder? What do you want to do? You could do it. You honestly could. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We have become really good friends. We really this. have. I hope so. Yeah. She's not going to get rid of me now. Oh, That's God. it. Want your toe? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Actually, it looks effective. Does I it? Think. And go down. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely going in. Come on. Come ah, on. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Dancing Freestyle with her partner Ian Waite, it's Virginia Gay. I ain't got time for you, baby. Either you're mine or you're not. Make up your mind, sweet baby. Right here, right now is all we got. A little party never killed nobody. So we gon' dance until we drop, drop, drop. That was a blisteringly beautiful routine, and you just went for it. Okay. I guess you do have to in a grand final. But... You really do. Ian yeah. was like, what can you do? We will put it in. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm still hurting from your splits. I know. But well... That was a real surprise, and beautifully done. Yeah. Very much. It was. You, you get your breath and we'll get it done. I can't believe that the last dance step in the entire season was you and the splits. <laughs> My hamstrings can't believe it either, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? I've just loved you guys each time you've danced. You know, you've just, you've, you've, you've grabbed this competition by the balls of your feet and you've just, and you've just, and others, and you've just run with it. Like, it's been such a joy to watch you. I want to dance with both of you. Mainly him. <laughs> what do you have to say about this? <laughs> OK, no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Do you know what? You've been the most consistent couple. It was an amazing, amazing piece of choreography. Energy from start to finish. Uh, it was just, and when you look, something else happened, then you look, somebody, and something else happened, then you were dancing another gender. And I just love that because it kept swapping from one to the other. That's something to be really celebrated. This has been a tough gig tonight, and congratulations for getting through to it. We was probably a little bit tired at the end, but I loved it anyway. Well done. Great. Those splits, darling, were amazing at the end. It was theatrical from the beginning. I loved all the fossey. I loved the cross-section of steps you put in. The energy was great. I love the tango drag, the role reversals, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, Shana. It was, it was an amazing, another 
Amazing routine from you guys. You've been so consistent this season and I've absolutely loved watching you dance. I thought you played it beautifully in the beginning, underplaying the arms a little bit in your childhood. This is one of the faster dances we've seen you do. And I think, Ian, you made great choices here because it might have been a little too fast for Virginia to fully reach the extent of them, but you sold it to me. I was like, I want to dance Charleston like that. I love that. I always appreciate the gender fluidity of your routines. You've always got a little something in there for me to just snack on. And I love that, a little moment to take home. I just love watching you dance. I do agree you got a little tired at the end, but like, why wouldn't you be? You've worked your ass off the whole damn season. I'd be tired if I was you. That's right. Well, they're very good comments, and we, we have to await the scores. And to do that, you, I wish I could say, yeah, just take the lift up the oh, stairs. But God. no, it's the real stairs. You have to go up. <laughs> Here they go. And full on in this routine. Wow. Ian gave Virginia a full workout of her gymnastic ability. Oh, oh my gosh, I love, I love you so much, I can't even... I can't even talk about it on national television. And, Ian, apologies about the shirt situation. I'm acro across most things budgetary. We have issues, obviously, with shirts here. I think the money has been spent on Craig's elocution lessons. Uh, it costs a fortune to get him to sound like a Disney villain. <laughs> um, now, listen... We have borrowed Ian from the British version of Dancing with the Stars. Should we keep him? Yeah. yeah? Do you know what we could do? We could send them Todd and we could just say the sun took its toll. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's on a flight back to uh, the United Kingdom tomorrow at midday and I have determined that he is not going to bed before then. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah. Hopefully not. Yeah. I think you might be right. Yeah. Should we get the judges' scores? Absolutely. The judges' scores are in. Craig Revel Horwood. Nine. Shana Burgess. Nine. Todd McKenney. It's a nine. Mark Wilson. And a nine from me. A total of 36. Oh, this is going to be so interesting. We've got Emily and Liu and Phil and Ashley in equal first place on 39. Then Christy and Craig and Virginia and Ian equal second place on 36. Then Mar Mary and Arik and Paulini and Igor. But Daryl, I think you know it's the audience vote, isn't it? It, it is the audience vote, but it, I mean, they've all scored really well with our judges, and so they should because they put everything in. Uh, they've done very, very well, and so uh, the audience vote could change just about everything. Exactly. Before we tackle with the, the audience vote, um, we're very saddened by the passing of uh, Tina Turner. She was absolutely an icon of the 20th century, and we all miss her dearly. She'll never be replaced. Never, ever. But no. she will live on in the movie, of course. Uh, Angela Bassett, did you see her in that movie? Yeah, incredible, and, yes. And, and, of course, the, uh, what's showing now, which is uh, Tina, T the Tina Turner musical. And we were, uh, we were actually overjoyed that the cast of that musical could be here with us to do a medley of two of her big, big hits. Amazing. Nut Bush, City Limits and Proud Mary. So here it is.
playing at the Theatre Royal in Sydney. Make sure you go and see it. Details are on the screen right now. And don't go anywhere after the break because we're going to have our eight eliminated couples return because um, we, we don't want to leave them out because they've worked so hard through the whole series with the highlights of their season. We're going to show that and most importantly announce our two finalists vying for, forget the reverb, the Mirrorball Trophy. <laughs> performances were all locked in. That's right. Pretty exciting stuff. Uh, welcome back. Um, and tonight, of course, it's been all about our six finalists, but let's not forget we started out with 14. We did. And, but our other couples are back, which is very, very nice. So tonight, let's hear it for the entire class of Dancing with the Stars 2023. <laughs> Matt Preston and partner Jess Ratter. Charlie Albone and his partner, Ruby Gabaz. Gavin Wanganine and partner, Megan Rag. Issa Schultz and partner, Lily Cornish. James Magnuson and his partner, Natalie Lowe. Sally Pearson and her partner, Mitch Kirkby. Laura Bird and partner, Danielle Savalio. And Pia Miranda and her partner, Declan Taylor. Oh, my gosh. You almost want to do a count to make sure there's 14. That's yeah. right. I would say there were 50 couples in this series. It's, it's just they kept coming out of the woodwork. It's so good to see them all back, though. And to see James twerking, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sentence I never thought I'd hear myself say on national television. <laughs> uh, and look, it's the perfect time to take a pause and take a look back at all the excitement of the entire series. I'm an actress, writer, comedian. I am a food writer. I'm an actress. I'm a singer and an actress. Super nerd. Singer. Actress. An Olympic swimmer. Landscape designer. Podcaster. Hey, partner. Morning. Hello. This is why everyone works to the bone to get one of these. Have you ever done a lift? No. OK. This is where you're going to sell the piece to the judges. The most fierce way to open up the show. Ten. 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 Basic. Rock, rock, side, close, side. Uh. Danil makes it sound so easy. I did, did love it. 
Can you dance? No, I absolutely cannot dance. Okay. Straight away, she's like, I'm going to wrap my legs around your head. She didn't even want to take me out to dinner first. You are excited. Quick, quick, quick. So far, the lift is not going to plan. The best part, I'm afraid, was the end. Those hips don't lie, baby. The hips don't lie. That's it. You worked the room. It was entertaining. Am I feeling like a graceful swan? Still in ugly duckling phase so far. I am impressed. Lily, please be mine. It was amazing. You could win this competition. Right? You're really trying to tell a story through your body and through your facial expression. Two, three. Oh. I felt my ankle pop. This injury is a huge setback. I've never been in so much pain in my feet in my life. This feels so hard. Oh my god. We are 10 minutes into this. I think you're ready. Ready for a lung transplant. You are a very good dancer. Just limbering up, just in case I'll get the call. Ooh. Mary is doing great. She doesn't know the difference between a tango and a mango. It was excellent. This is a great competition. Pasta Dobla! <laughs> I mean, you're amazing. It was sharp, it was staccato, it had aggression. Heart and determination and guts. Beautiful to watch. Love it. Ba -ba. Genius. Ten. Ten. Yep, ten. 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 Many, many highlights in there. So many. Good times. Really good series. Really good. I think all our couples have really enjoyed it. They have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. It's uh, almost time to announce our two finalists, but before we do, let's look back at tonight's performances from our six finalists. Emily and Liu gave an abundance of spice and brought out the fireworks to open our grand finale. Paulini and Igor poured some Bruno Mars 24 karat magic into their funky freestyle. Not a dry eye in the house as Mary dedicated a highly emotional tribute to her daughter Jamie. Phil and Ashley were one of the highlights of the evening with Land of a Thousand Dancers. Christian Craig took to the stairs in the hope of reaching Mirabal glory. And Virginia and Ian left nothing on the floor except themselves at the end of their fabulous freestyle. What a night it's been on Dancing with the Stars at the grand finale. The all-important audience vote has now been added to our judges' scores and we can now reveal the two grand finalists still in the running to take home the trophy. In no particular order, our first couple is... Emily and Liu! I don't know who's more shocked, Emily or Liu. They are very, very happy though, aren't they? Yeah, the magical routine though, wasn't it? So exciting. Oh, oh God. The second and final couple Still in with a shot to take home the trophy is... Two. 
episode. Congratulations to Emily and Leo, and of course, Phil and Ashley. And it's a very big commiseration to our other four couples. Uh, wow. Yeah, let's hear it for our other four couples who danced their hearts out tonight and gave it everything. Yeah, they certainly did. So after the break, the announcement you've all been waiting for, the winner of Dancing with the Stars. Don't go anywhere. It's coming up next. Welcome our two grand finalists to the floor for the very last time. Firstly, Emily and Leo. <laughs> They're excited. And Phil and Ashley. It's such an old uh, game show, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> the price is right. Come on down um, and please join us. First of all, congratulations. Uh, it's been a very, very tense evening. You gave 150%, uh, both couples, I thought. D do you agree? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, you were both so good, weren't they? Yep. <laughs> Let's have a look at the stunning performance of Emily and Leo. The Spice Girls routine was giving me life tonight, I have to say. Both of you look like you were having such a great time. Such a good time. Yeah, it's, it's so exciting, that routine. From go to woe, there wasn't... You got you didn't have one rest. Not one bar Not of music one gave rest. you a rest. You were no. throwing yourselves into it. And, Emily, your charity is Sydney Retreat Facilitation Rehab. Can you just tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. So the Sydney Retreat Facilitation Rehab is um, a rehab that's been going for about two years now, and 15% of all people that they take in are for people who can't afford beds and can't afford to get sober as quickly as they want to. So... That's very right. that is a, a great, great cause to get behind. Certainly, certainly. Uh, Phil and Ashley, congratulations. Thank you. Um, Thanks, Dal. I just talked about the high energy of uh, Emily and Leo, <laughs> but your routine was also... Um, and your choreography was <laughs> smashing. Here it is. Look at this. This was just, like, naught to 100 in, like, two seconds. Yeah, it was no, and not then even it any never, time to breathe. It never, ever let up, Phil. No, it didn't. <laughs> Sort of like all your Vegas performances of uh, 11 and a half years <laughs> rolled into one. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. And, and who is your nominated charity, Phil? Uh, my charity is New South Wales Police Legacy, and they're a group that look after and support the families of policemen and women that have passed away in the job. Oh, That's brilliant. Great charity. Brilliant charity. Great charity. Great charity. Home. Well, the winner will take home not only the mirror ball, but also $20,000 for their nominated charity. <laughs> $20,000. Yes. That is wonderful. It is time now to announce the winner. Would you like to grab the mirror ball and, and bring it over to the central hosting position? <laughs> we are now about to announce <laughs> the 2023 20, winner and champion of Dancing with the Stars. Phil and <laughs> Ashley! Oh! Congratulations to Phil and Ashley! A wonderful routine! And it's brought home to make it, as they say, in the form of the Mirabal Trophy! There you go. It's all yours. Oh. Wow. Wow. Congratulations, Phil. Oh. So much hard work went into that. Oh. I'm sure there are plenty of people that you would like to thank. This show has just been so incredible for the last seven weeks. I've had 
the absolute time of my life. And, you know, it, it is a competition, but it doesn't feel like that when you're out here and you're with all these amazing people, all dancing and having fun together. And it just feels like a family and it's been an absolute joy to be a part of it. I also want to thank my family who is here tonight, my beautiful wife and my kids. The biggest thanks for me has to go to Ash here. She's brought out a side of me that I never even knew existed. Would you like to say a few words? I have had the most incredible time teaching Phil how to dance. Um, yeah, I felt like I'd already won when I found out I was dancing with Phil and it's just been an incredible journey. <laughs> and um, just loved every minute of it. And I'm so, so proud of you. So, so proud of you. Commiserations to Emily and Liu. You guys, you gave it everything. You were amazing to watch. What would you like to say, Em? How would you sum up your time on the show? Amazing, incredible, and I just want to mimic what Phil said. This show is, like, one of the best shows to work on. The crew, the staff, everyone here, the contestants, these, look at them. They're the best. <laughs> And, um, and obviously to Liu for being my partner in crime, which has been, you know, the most amazing six weeks of my life. And I'm just so grateful to have made it this far. And congratulations to Phil and Ash. They deserve it. And God love them. Thank you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, look, uh, congratulations again. Con congratulations to you. And um, this uh, show is a very big show. And we uh, have a big, big team of people who are so professional, including our judges. Yeah. Yeah. And we have an enormous creative team, whether it be the, the costumes. Look at these costumes. Look at the colour, the detail that went... Tim Chappell and the gang. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Kelly Abbey is also fabulous. Brilliant people. They have to be on the ball because it's a very, very big, big show, as I'd said. So, thank you for watching. We hope we'll see you again. Until then, good night, Australia. Yeah.